Hey guys, my name is Devin Adams and welcome to a new series that I'm doing. Just ignore the tile, title here because I, I actually just realized, you know what, I should record this just in case someone wants to see it. So uh, in this new series that I'm going to do here, and I'm just going to randomly throw in videos in this in this playlist, but it's going to be uh, adding value to the lab that we already created. So we created an awesome test lab for NSC4 practicing. Um, and so I'm just going to randomly say, hey, you know what, this is how you configure maybe a radius server, or maybe this is how you add into your test environment a email server. All right, so for this very first one, and I need to do this for an upcoming demo, um, let's add a web server to our already made domain controller. So uh, to do this, all we need to do is go into our domain controller that we made earlier. Okay, we're going to go over to tools. Nope, I lied. Manage, add roles and features and the whole idea here guys by the way I'll hit next is is to maybe have a, a website that we can reach internally only right like an intra net site this way when we do like SSL VPN or IPsec testing that's a perfect way to, to know if our tunnels are working right so that's why we're doing this we say next we only have one domain controller all right and what you're looking for here is good old web server IIS cha-ching all right its dependencies We'll say add features, we'll hit next, we'll hit next, we'll hit next, we'll hit next, I know, right? We'll hit install. We will go eat a burrito or go take a nap or do the hokey pokey. I'm going to hit pause. I'm not going to touch anything though. I'll be right back. I'm going to let this finish its thing. All right, guys, I had to literally like come back after lunch <laughs> to, to have it finished and and that's actually uh you know I'm, I'm about to wrap up the authentication chapter and I added all of these machines into my lab now guys just to show you also how awesome um, GNS3 is and using KVM I mean I deployed all of those machines after we put them into the system drag and drop I mean that's it once they're in GNS3 as a template that's what it takes to deploy these machines so but a lot is going on uh, in the background, and uh, when I came back, it finished, but my mouse stopped responding to VNC commands, so I don't know what's going on with that. Um, but that's okay. It, it completed it, and then I was trying to, to, to fumble. See how it's just not responding to mouse commands? I was trying to fumble with the keyboard and uh, closed out the little, this has finished installing the role. Now... Just to let you know, all those steps that we just did, remember the ultimate goal was just to have some kind of website to go to internally so we can test things like IPsec tunnels and, and you know, uh, all that good stuff. So I'm just going to go to a random computer now that that role is finished. All right. Go to a web browser and type in the IP address of our domain controller. So 10. My laptop's going to melt. 10.0.1.10. Ta-da! There you guys go. And uh, you can even practice your web development skills. How cool is that? Bling up some of these websites. So anyways, guys, so as you can see, it literally takes a minute or two. In theory, I did go to lunch, so I really don't know how long it took to install in my environment. Um, but as you can see, things are, are calming down now to my, my CPU utilization. But now you have an intranet site to do a whole bunch of cool testing so all right guys so next time uh, i think the next video i'm going to do in this series of, of making a a cool nsc4 lab instead of an advanced nsc4 lab is show you guys how to bring in these icons so that's something else that i did to kind of clean these up i don't like the generic icons that gns3 has uh, so look forward to that sometime in the future and uh thank you for watching